For tonight, uh, in the theme of Boogeyman, I won't be doing high food. Instead, I'll have the anatomy of the toilet eater. <clears throat> a toilet eater, a worm-like creature, grows to about 12 inches wide, long, as wide as a pinky finger, or if you're unlucky, your ex-boyfriend's member. <laughs> a distant cousin to the baby fish. It will not grant you mastery of every tongue, especially not the French girls, who will stick hers out in mockery as you ask, parlez-vous English? The toy leader does, as its name suggests, eat tarts. You will forget your lover's birthday. You will forget to put the toilet seat down. You will blame it in it. You blame it as a guide until you forget yesterday's man you Chelsea scores. Towards the end, your vocab will be two syllables long, and the pest will never make the treacherous trip to your lips. You will speak in it in the I am big meeting, but never compose a sonnet, never remembering the first half of your couple. Set it still is when you propose that it's haiku that you'll compose. But let's forget about what you forget and find out how you contract such a world. Like any relationship not worth pursuing, it starts with a call and a contract. They have 1-800 helpline, they'll ask you how, what you like to forget. The awkward first kiss, the harpy first wife, last night's man in Chelsea scores. But first you have to agree to let it in. What a vampire cliche, right? The first thing you'll forget is how to remove it, so let me remind you. It's a simple solution, it's a painful solution. It's MTV. Eight hours of the hills taken like a good strip, like a good scotch, stripped. Fuck that, I'd rather write my cool. And that's that. <laughs>